To enter the kingdom of God, we must go through the narrow gate of obedience, faith, and love, and that from the heart level. Top of the morning to you. When we consider who we are in Christ, with the mind of Christ and a firm determination to get to know God personally and more fully, we find that there are barriers to do so. The Bible talks about gates and doors meant to separate man from God. Jesus tells us in John 10, 9, I am the door. If anyone enters by me, he will be saved and will go in and out and find pasture. Matthew 7, 21, He who does the will of my Father in heaven shall enter the kingdom of heaven. Matthew 18, 3, Unless you are converted and become like little children, you will by no means enter into the kingdom of heaven. Hebrews 10, 19, Therefore, brethren, having boldness to enter the holiness, the holiest by the blood of Jesus, by a new and living way which he consecrated for us through the veil that is his flesh. Verse 22, Let us draw near with a true heart in full assurance of faith, having our hearts sprinkled from an evil conscience and our bodies washed with pure water. Psalm 119, excuse me, 118, verse 19. Open the gates of righteousness, and I will go through and praise the Lord. Gates were used as entrances into places with no ceilings. Doors were used as entrances into places with ceilings. Whether you can enter these gates or doors depended on the condition of your heart. Isaiah 26, 2. Open the gates of, that the righteous nation which keeps the truth may enter in. Isaiah 57, 2. The righteous shall enter into peace. Jeremiah 7, 2, Stand in the gates of the Lord's house and proclaim, Hear the word of the Lord, all you who enter in at these gates, to worship the Lord. Matthew seven thirteen, Enter by the narrow gate, for wide is the gate and broad is the path that leads to destruction. And there are many who go by in by it. Mark ten twenty four. How hard it is for those who trust in riches to enter in the kingdom of God. Hebrews three nineteen. They could not... They could not enter in because of unbelief. Matthew nineteen seventeen, Jesus speaking, If you want to enter into the king to eternal life, keep the commandments. Words of encouragement, God is most concerned with the condition of our hearts. One Samuel sixteen seven, God tells Samuel to look into the heart, not on the outward appearance, because God does not see as human sees. Proverbs four twenty three, keep your heart with all diligence, for out of it springs the issues of life. So it's no surprise when we find out entrance through the gates of the kingdom of heaven is determined by our heart condition, not whether we are good people according to the world standards. Do we obey God's commandments with all our heart? Do we love and pursue God with all of our hearts? Do we love our neighbor as ourselves? These things are keys to opening the gates of the kingdom of heaven to us, along with our salvation, repenting from our heart for our sins, and accepting Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. Have a great day.